And we got the big cat coming in hot. Coming nope. in hot, fresh off the Masters. Uh, yeah. Was down there for a couple days, watched Tiger take it in, you know, bring the bring the win in. And uh, amazing experience. I'll talk to you guys about that in the live stream. But today we're out here at Santa Luz. Beautiful day, eight o'clock in the morning. Got Beeski over there, <laughs> farting around. <laughs> Coach behind the camera, and we're gonna have a good old time out here today. Oh man, this is gonna be a great day. Uh, this is a par five, of, as you guys know. We're out at Santa Luz. And uh, it's 583 yards, a little slight dog leg to the right. Uh, it's usually a three shot hole unless you're bee ski. And uh, let's have some fun. I pumped it, I pushed it. I hit my strong. Oh, play. We're right next to each other. And we got the big cat back from the Masters. Yep, coming uh, fresh off the airplane from Atlanta. Had a great time out there at the Masters, Saturday, Sunday. Um, just an unbelievable experience. Uh, I haven't been to a lot of like big sporting events, but it was by far the best one I've ever been to. Uh, I already want to go back next year. Uh, Walked around, walked the whole entire course the first day. It was like seven or eight miles. My feet were just full of blisters, <laughs> but it was so worth it. I mean, that place is just, uh, it's obviously really special. And I'll tell you all about it a little later, guys. Yeah. Hit one on the left side over here. Just gonna hit a little hybrid down there and get myself back in position and uh, hopefully have a wedge in. All right, did just that. Down the middle, layup is perfect. All right, toe jam that driver pretty hard to the left. I want to lay up right next to the big cat and uh, take five bucks off him a little closest to <laughs> I welcome it. <laughs> mm, stay down on that beautifully. Headed for the middle of the fairway. Yeah, that's perfect. We should be right next to each other. <laughs> Let's play for some cash you know. Uh, it's fun getting five bucks off the big cat right away. Yeah, he hasn't earned it yet, so. Uh, sure have him, but we're out. gonna have some fun. He's coming out here nice and confident. Coach has been playing really good lately, getting ready for uh, the qualifier. May 6th, yep. keep an eye out on it. Big Cat's hopefully gonna come out and film it, or Danielson. Absolutely. I'll be and, there. And uh, yeah, we're gonna give it a run, see how we do. So we're right next to each other, that's me right there. B-Ski is in the bunker, I think. How about these freshy hats? We just got this color in, so make sure you guys check out the link up there, and we got a red one in as well. Uh, 30 bucks only. Support the channel, buy one. <laughs> and if you're a member, you get 20% off. All right, so I got 135 left. I'm gonna just go with the smooth pitching wedge. I'm not gonna go right at this pin. It's kind of a sucker pin. I'm gonna just go a little bit left of it. There is a ridge, and it might feed down to the right, but otherwise, I'll try to leave myself a 10, 15 footer. Well, this looks wonderful at the middle of green drawn. Boom, pin high, doesn't control an A+. Plus. And then we got B with the layup in the bunker, not happy with it. And caught the, caught the top lip right there. All right. All right, I got 120. I really want to be aggressive with this shot just to take five bucks off Marco and get a little dot ski. I think I'm just going to have to play it in the middle of the green, just inside Marco's ball. <laughs> we started at my ball, but it's drawing. Looks like I'm going to be getting the Dotsky and the Finsky. <laughs> That's what we call the good old fashioned double tap. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible, <laughs> terrible. Uh, that's what you get for all that smack talking, know, Coach. You know what, that's exactly what I get. I'm gonna shut my mouth the rest of the day and I'm gonna play some good golf. <laughs> there you go. All right, so B hit the, the lip from uh, the Munker back there. Just has probably about a 60, 70 yard shot left in here. He's got a good angle. It pins in a pretty tough spot, you guys will see. 
he's posing, so that must be good. All right, nice shot. Just a little bit long with a little little tour saucy saucy, and he's got about 10 feet. And you guys can see this is Mike right here to the left. That's me right there. Distance control A plus, and a little little further than what uh, we wanted to have in here for birdie, but it's all right. You can't get too aggressive with this pin. It's kind of tucked over here on the right edge, and as you guys can see, there's water behind it, so can't get too uh, too cute on this. That's a tough three putt. Don't want to start the day off like that, but you know what? I'm gonna bounce right back and try and uh, make a couple pars in a row. I don't think I've ever been in that bunker back there in the fairway. That is a tough bunker. Yeah. That lip was huge. I couldn't even get out of it with a wedge. That's what we in the biz call penal. Yeah, that was a bad layup on my That's part. That's where uh, I was trying to join the five dollar uh, <laughs> wedge you off over it there. I had 290 in, so I was like, oh, I'm just gonna lay up by those boys over there, maybe get in the $5 game. Dumped it in the box. All right, not the best start on that last hold, but it's okay. Uh, fairways and greens. All right, this is hole number two. Uh, you guys have seen it before. It's a dog leg left. Uh, there's a split fairway right here. It's about 442 yards, and uh, we're just gonna lay one up to the right side and uh, try to make a par here. Biski has decided to go left side of the fairway. Really rare, there's no wind right now. Tees are playing a little bit up. Why not? Yeah, you got the length, big dog. We don't often talk about the left side of the fairway here, but it's that little, little sliver over there. All right, Big Cat hit that 288 down the middle. 289, get it right. 289, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, got 155 left. I'm gonna just hit a little little nine iron, go right at this flag stick. Birdie's pretty rare here, so see if we can uh, steal one on the field. Marco got a gorilla on the last hole, so he's on the board with his first dot. Ooh, Marco hit this one really well. Just a little bit left of the pin. Gotta get up the ridge. Oh, God, it got stuck right on the ridge. Man, and it's coming that. back. It was it was literally a half of a yard from being absolutely perfect on the top ridge, pin high, but no, he got denied. <laughs> but smart play, good shot. All right, let's see what we got here. It's the black number, 327. Thank you, Ventus and Callaway. The lovely driver. Yeah, coach absolutely pumped that down here. Perfect spot. I mean, this hole isn't, you know, it's not crazy long, but it's really, this hole is tough because of the st all the garbage you have to carry and the bunkers that come into play on the left, and he's just making this look easy. Obviously a fairly easy pin placement, but still, you gotta poke one down here. What do we got? I gotta get one back. <laughs> I made bogey on that last hole, so I'm gonna try and hit a good wedge shot in here. I got 128 left, and uh, I'm just gonna try and keep it up on the top two tier. Uh, I'm gonna take it at the pin, hopefully, and with a little baby draw. Started that right of the pin and it's hanging there. But he got it on the right ridge, so he's gonna have a nice flat putt. Probably gonna be about 15, 20 feet. God, I think there was a little wind up there. It felt like I did want to draw, but the wind was just fighting it a little left to right and uh, stayed out there. Luckily, I clubbed up and uh, got on the top tier. And we got Busey coming up from over on the left side of the fairway. And let's see how he did there. All right, looks like he's over there by coach. He's gonna give coach actually a nice little read just outside from him, probably 30 feet. All right, so we got three balls on the green here. Biski and coach are over there on the left-hand side. Um, pretty flat putts from up there. And then I ended up just front of the green down right past Biski. 
and going to have a pretty long putt. It's got to go up a pretty big ridge, so two putt from there I'd be pretty happy with. Two lips. Greens are tough today, aren't they? Yeah, the, the holes are cut super tight. Big Cat hit two greens in a row straight out of the car. <laughs> yeah. Man, left myself in a tough spot there and paid the price. But it's all right, we got some fun holes coming up. Let's see if we can get one back. B Ski went for the, the risk versus reward shot going left. Bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. I, you know, I didn't like it. I know. Another beautiful day in San Diego. It's about 70 degrees. Not a lot of wind today. All right, so this is uh, hole number three. It's a par four, it's 384 yards. There's some hazard to the right, just right of those bunkers, and then also left. But the fairway's pretty big, and you guys can see the pin. Uh, looks like it's tucked front right, and uh, just anything in the fairway here is good. Native fescue is extra long today with all the rain that we've been getting. Got it. Oh, yes. All right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> no. Let's take a look at that. I don't know if you can see it in there, but there she is. He's going to have to hack this one out. Well, the lowest lofted club I brought was a nine iron, so it's going to have to work. I'm going to just aim far left because the tendency here is for this grass to just grab it and shut your club face and it even further, so I'm gonna open up this nine iron. I'm gonna pretty much aim at our cart and just try to get something out there. Oh my gosh, that was an A plus. Yep, right back in the middle of the fairway. It's got a chance at a little up and down ski and uh, make us par. And B hit a really good shot in there. He's right below the pin, probably about eight feet. What a drive, man. You're pumping him. Thanks. Coach with another absolutely bomb down here. Yeah, I'm just gonna try and stay focused right now. Got 66 yards. Got to keep uh, keep that tiger focus right now. And um, I'm just gonna put it uh, right at the pin. This looks really good. Going right at it. Rolling up there, going the hole. Bink. Oh, how does that not go in? <laughs> oh man. This boy is on fire. Got it a little heavy because I was on that downhiller, <laughs> so I didn't want to thinny it. And uh, luckily it rolled out and uh, got close. Nicely done, dude. Mm. All right, big cat laid up to right here. It's gonna just try and get it close, get up and down, make a par. Hmm. Got a nice bounce, go. All right, a little bit past. It's probably got about 10 feet. Greens are kind of firm and fast, so gotta be have a little more finesse. All right, so we got three on the on the green right here. Closest to is me. Uh, you guys just saw Marco go a little bit past. Bisky hit a good one in there, and uh, he's got a little ten footer up the hill. Good birdie, coach. Thanks. Another little double daughter. <laughs> Uh, all right, this is one of the toughest par fours uh, on the course. It's uh, I think about 450 yards all uphill. Those bunkers come into play. There's the native fescue that's along the right hand side that's really thick and uh, you definitely can't miss left in that bunker. It's guaranteed bogey. Uh, so we're just going to try and pump one down the middle here. Good ball. Great ball, B. God, if you played that baby draw, it's fine. Get away with it. All right, the big cat is in the bunker. I don't know how high that lip is, but it looks pretty high. I'm guessing seven or eight iron. 
You guys can see how high that lip is. It's probably about six, seven feet high. It's gotta just play it out to the right. Try and get up and down. Oh, he hit it pretty well. Just pushed it a little bit to the left, but actually it'll be a good angle coming in right there. All right, got 189 up the hill. Just gonna hit a hard five iron, try and miss left of the pin. Push that out to the right, set it for those bunkers, maybe a little right of them. Yeah, be chipping. All right, big cat's laying up. It's got about 60 yards, I'm guessing. It's got a tough ridge to go over. Pin's tucked in a really tough spot on the right. Yeah, what a golf shot. Good job. And then B hit a good one in there. He's on the green, he's got about 35 feet. So, coach is in the box right here. You can see how big the lip is. He's got virtually no green to work with right here. It's pretty tight all downhill. But this is his specialty, so let's see what he can do from right here. And that's about as good as it's gonna get right there. Which is about six feet. Well done. Break, break, let him in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Woo! Well, that's how you make a par. Out here working. It's pretty nice. Oh, oh. Nice, good two putt. Nice All right, this is an awesome par three out here at Santa Luz. 163 yards, as you guys can see, it's playing downhill. Pretty big green, but it is in the wind, and this pin today is in the back left location. So if you go long here, it makes for a pretty tough up and down, and if you are short of that ridge, it just gives you kind of a tough putt. So you gotta be really precise with uh, your distance here. Oh. All right, headed for the left edge of the green. Ah. And he's on the dance floor, so, you know, high standards for that guy. Coach started one. Right center of the green, drawn back. It looks like it's gonna be a little bit right of it, but he got it right on that ridge, and it looks like it's kind of staying there. He's on the ridge, so he's gonna have a little side side hill putt, but overall not too bad. Now I came out of it a little bit, pushed it left, but it's in the right right side miss. So he'll have a fun little up and down from there, but shouldn't be a problem for the big cat. Okay, Big Cat uh, missed his a little bit left right here. He's in front, Bisky uh, caught his a little heavy. He's in the front part of the green. Uh, and then I've got about a 20 footer up the hill right there. Lob it up there with some spin. Okay, that's okay. That's actually a smart play. He's got about 25 feet coming back for par. Tonight it was meant to be. Close my eyes. I feel where this is probably gonna be the best I've ever seen. Come on, baby. Okay, good roll. Good effort. Oh, all right. Look at this beautiful day out here at Santa Luz. Let me tell you, we're enjoying every minute of this. This is, I think, hole five. It's a par four, it's only 364 yards. Uh, you got some hazard and some uh, wi uh, wispies on the right and left and some bunkers. It's a pretty tight fairway as it gets a little bit longer towards the hole, um, but just anything in the fairway here is good about 225 out. Bisky pumped one about four feet below the pin. Good shot. And then me and Big Cat are right next to each other. I think we're gonna do a little closest to. He's cleaning off the club. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, it's gonna, serious. Yeah, I'm gonna need the grooves to work. So we got 100 yards right next to each other, like Mike said. Uh, I'm already up five bucks on him, but <laughs> we're a little bit into the wind on this one. So 100 yards is typically my 56, but I'm gonna try to fly in a little approach wedge in there, see if we can get it close. Yeah, that's a smart play right there. That's a veteran move. A little bit of wind, and there's a little bit of a backstop. 
Oh, he flighted it really nice. This thing looks good if it's enough. Oh, oh, he almost went in. What a golf shot that was right there. Boy wants that five bucks. He's tough. So we forgot to mention what the duck game's all about. Um, so birdie, you get a dot. Eagle, you get two. Uh, Bin Laden, you get two. Bin Laden is bunker to bunker, and then an up and down. A Sandy, you get one. Inside the stick, it's called a sticky, you get one. A pulley, uh, anything made outside. Uh, the stick is called the pulley, you get a dot there, and then a gorilla for a par five, close to two and three. And dots, you guys get to specify how much a dot is worth. We're just doing a dollar a dot on this one, but uh, you can get pretty nasty with it. Play five or ten dollar dots. Oh, uh, it was ten dollars? <laughs> I don't know, you and I got all of them, so I don't mind it. <laughs> B's gonna be paying up. This looks really good. Head right at it, maybe a little bit left. Ooh, he left it a little short. That's another five bucks in my pocket. Yeah, I, I kind of stabbed at it. Didn't really complete my swing and uh, didn't want to be over the pin. All right, so we got a few balls on the green here. Coach is just on the front edge of the green. Got himself about a 20, 25 footer. If you guys saw mine, hit a pretty good one in there. Got like a six footer. And then I think B's uh, even tighter. He's done, <laughs> it was six inches. <laughs> All right, Big Head gets another dot because he's inside the stick, which is a sticky. Yeah, got a, got a dot, but I wanted that bird even more. <laughs> but it's all good. Just got to give yourself chances out here. And that's already six holes, right, guys? So yeah. That's the end of part one. So, beautiful day in the neighborhood. We're going to just keep rocking. Make sure you guys come back and uh, check out part two. All right, guys, we'll see you back for the next one. <laughs>